Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you common fixes to the Samsung DLP TV. Model number is HLS46. So let's go ahead and show you what's going on. I got all three LEDs blinking right here. This is standby, timer, lamp. They're all shining. And every time I um, plug in the power cord, it clicks on and then it chimes off. So I have no screen, nothing going on. Here's a picture of how a DLP TV operates. You get the light source, which is the lamp shining through the color wheel, shining on the DLP chip on the DMD board, shining through the lens onto the screen. Now you have dots on the DLP screen that's going to be most likely caused by the DLP chip, which is a plug-in chip, It's 50, about $50. Now if you have lines, prison bars on your TV screen, that can be most likely your DMD board located in the light engine circled here. And here's a picture of what the DMD board looks like. And that's about like $60, $70 now. Now if you have a red blinking light and no power, that can be caused by a defective color wheel. If the color wheel does not spin freely for more than five seconds, replace it. Also, um, fans that are clogged can overload the circuit and cause the TV to shut down. Uh, so clean out the fans and the filter and hopefully the TV will turn back on. Now I went ahead and added this flow chart from a service manual and it basically narrows it down to if you have to replace the lamp or the ballast that powers the lamp or replace the DMD board which controls the picture or replacing the color wheel. And it, it's a yes and no but you have to have a voltmeter to go through some of these steps. Does your fan run? Yes. Does your color wheel run? If yes then is your lamp on if no does your lamp come on then shut down if yes then check your five volts at connection 803 pin one on dmd board and if you have the five volts then you would re replace the dmd board if you don't have the five volts then you would replace the ballast or the lamp so what I end up doing is I order the lamp. If that lamp does not fix the TV, then I order the ballast. I ordered the lamp. There's a lamp code right here, or if you go off the model number on the TV, but usually there's like a lamp code, red sticker on the side. And the panel's right here on the side too as well. And the repair for this is really easy. You just take this off. I consider it maintenance, if anything. And then you have to dust this off. This gets real dusty. And make sure the TV is unplugged. Now if you notice right here, there's a kill switch. Make sure you don't mess with that or break that. That's really important because that actually toggles the TV on and off the high power. Now what you want to do is pull down and take the spring thing off. This pulls right out. Now even if the lamp doesn't fix your TV, it's always good to have a spare lamp. Because they go out after like five, seven thousand hours. Now never touch the lens. If you touch the lens, you're going to shorten the life on the lamp, on the bulb. Because the oil is on your finger, get on the, the lamp, and then the lamp gets super hot, and then you can crack it. So you want to line up the plug to the bottom right there. And sometimes these plugs can get brittle and they break. So that's another common fix. Or it can, um, you know, the con uh, connection right here could be bad too as well. So that's why I got the brand new casing. You could buy the bulb separately and you'll save you like 20 bucks. But in this case, the TV's kind of old and I just wanted a brand new plastic in there so it'll last, last the customer a long time. And the bulbs last about 5,000 hours, depending on how your um, eco mode, what kind of mode settings you have. Make sure it's plugged in nice and snug. Push this down, this up. Just like that. It's on. Let's see if this TV works. Alright, so we're going to plug the TV in here and we get the standby light is on hit power TV should turn on because I've done this plenty of times the lamp is probably the most frequent uh, part in the TV you're going to replace 
because the lamp only lasts 5,000 hours. Well, it depends on your settings. It can last 6,000 hours if you um, change some of your settings and lower your, um, your settings. But there it is, it works. So anyway, if this video helped you out, give me a thumbs up. And if you know this video may help anyone that you know in your family and friends, click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+, or their email. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more tech reviews like this one.